peace, peace, Ali. Coming back at you on behalf of salimyers.com. All right, in this video, I want to talk about how to remove deities off your altar. I want to make a real quick video. I had this question when I posted a prompt on Facebook um, asking for video suggestions. This is one of the videos that someone suggested, so shout out to that individual. Um, but before I begin, if you're having problems connecting with deities, finding deities that resonate with you, uh, you may want to check out my book, Deity Linkage Manual, How to Find Your Gods and Goddesses Using Numerology. This is a perennial bestseller. It's currently um, probably number four or five on the bestseller list on Amazon in the numerology category. So this is a great book to find deities. You can find it on Amazon or our online store, l9shop.com. So how do you remove deities on an altar? Um, look at deities as any relationship. Like you have a, you have friends, you have family, you have coworkers, you have a significant other, you may have children, but we have relationships on earth with other human beings. Look at deities as relationship with spiritual beings. So when you want to remove deities off your altar for whatever reason, look at it like a relationship. So if you're having, say you're in a marriage and you want to get a divorce or something like that, let's use something to string. You're married, you want to get a divorce. So you go to your significant other and you tell them, I want a divorce. You go get a lawyer, you get paperwork and stuff, and you'll make some kind of settlement as far as separating from each other. That's the same, it's kind of the same way with deities. So whatever is in your heart, if there's something in your heart telling you that there's something you need to do, then I would suggest that you do something. And it's as simple as talking to them. So you can go to your altar, say that I wanted to remove uh, Tahuti from my altar. I can go to my offering, I can go to my altar, if I like, I can give a last offering to Tahuti, and I can just say, you know, uh, this relationship, as far as the connection with you, I'm not feeling it, or I want to connect with another deity, but for whatever reason, I want to disconnect um, paying homage to you, giving offerings and having you on my altar. I mean, no disrespect, this is uh, nothing egoic or anything like that, you can just talk to them like regular people. You know, as long as you come from the heart and you direct the energy to the deity, they're not like the God in the Bible. You're not talking about a jealous God, you know. When I had my first altar was um, dedicated to Lakshmi and Ganesha, I just took the altar down, you know. I, and when, I, when we got a new house, I put another altar up for them and mixed them with other deities. But my point is, I personally have never gone through no elaborate ritual or anything to take deities off the altar. Uh, so my simple suggestion for you, if you're wanting to take deities off the altar, just talk to them and respectfully remove them off your altar. If you want to seal the deal, you can give them a last offering, sort of like a last meal when you're about to get executed in jail. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really up to you. The, I'll close with this. The gods merge with our consciousness. All the spirituality, the spiritual beings, they merge with our consciousness. So if you're in a space where you're subservient, you're coming at them as a lowly human or whatever, that's how you're going to get treated. But if you look at the deities as they are you and you are them, and this is a symbiotic relationship, meaning as you grow and evolve, they grow and evolve, you're looking at them as more like partners or whatever. If you have that kind of mindset, then that's really going to propel you in order to kind of invoke the energy of the gods and become more one with them. So this has been Ali. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my website, salimyers.com. If you're in need of metaphysical tools, supplies, ultra supplies, natural healing products, uh, be sure to visit our website, l9shop.com. That's E-L, the number 9, shop.com. So until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.